Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhypervision.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can kill a news process in Windows. I recorded the similar video almost one year back, which is this, which is how to kill a news process in Windows using Selenium. Okay, so I will give you some history about this method. So earlier in, I will, if I'm not wrong, 3.11.0, we had a separate class called Windows Utils. There we had multiple static methods where you can simply pass the process name and it used to kill okay but if you see the uh, the latest versions like 3.14 1.59 or latest selenium 4 version that does not have this class so now you can use the command that i am going to discuss in this video with a pure uh, i will say simple java code that you need to execute and that command which i will show you it can kill any unused process or any process which is taking a lot of space and memory it can kill with the help of one simple command and one simple method so let me show you how it works and how you can do that and you can implement the same in your current framework okay so you can uh, do this as part of cleanup activity or you can put this as a precondition that whenever you want to start your sessions make sure this should be closed or this should be uh, not running in the background or it could be a cleanup activity once your complete test suite is done you want all this process should be closed okay it's totally up to you how do you want to utilize it so let's see how it works and in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel and if you like this concept or if you like this command please share with your colleagues those who are struggling with the same so before i show you the actual command let me show you my task manager so right click and click on task manager and if you see right now i don't have any chrome service running okay but if I show you uh, the task manager, can you see in the task manager, I have a lot of Google Chrome services which are running. Can you see this? And each Google Chrome is taking, let's say 1.3, 2 MB, 17 MB, and a lot of space is consumed by these processes, even though I'm not running any Chrome browser. Similarly, I was working with Selenium and you can see the lot of Chrome drivers which is running in the background, even though they are taking very less space as of now, but the moment you have more than you know 150 processes it will be taking a lot of memory plus if you see the cpu usage is very high it could be because i'm using a lot of other stuff as well but the command which i'm going to show you it will kill any process that you will mention okay so let's say i don't have any google chrome running but still i want to close all this how can i do that so first of all i will show you you just need to start a command prompt now let me show you one command which is task kill okay now if you want to know what exactly it does just put one forward slash and use question mark symbol and hit enter and you can see it will give you first of all description that what exactly it will do so this will terminate the task by using pid which is process id or image name plus you can also pass these parameter lists you can use uh, forward slash s u p f i p i d i m t f so the one which we are going to use is these three okay so first of all we are going to terminate so i will be using uh, t forward slash t which will terminate the specified process plus we will be using uh, forward slash f which will forcefully terminate the process and we will be using um, i m which is image name so we will be giving the process name fine so let me show you first with this or maybe first of all I will show you with this then in this uh, second example which we will write a small Java code and we will close all these Google Chrome services which is running or I will say the process so as you can see this is Chrome driver and it's an exe file so I will just open I will write a command called task kill and let's use this flag okay they have also given examples that how you can use this so i'm going to use uh, f which is basically i'm going to execute this guy so forward slash f then forward slash im which is image name then chrome driver which we have copied it's a exe file and i will be using forward slash t which is for terminate and just notice guys the moment i will execute this you will see it will kill all these processes fine let me simply execute this and just notice it has terminated all these processes which were running right 
So you can see it is the process with PID has been terminated. So it is giving you all this information that these are the processes which got killed because of this command. Now let me show you the same thing in Eclipse. Okay, so I will be writing a one line of code that will do the same thing. For that, let's go back to Eclipse. I can use any existing package, but I will be creating a new package for this and I will give this package name as windows commands. Okay, because basically we are going to run a windows command here. I will create a class called kill process. And now you can use public static void main at the rate test of JUnit or testNG, it doesn't matter. And not only with Java, since it's a Windows command, right, you can execute with Python or any other programming language as well. So let me use a separate class called runtime. So the moment you type runtime, you can see it's coming from java.lang. So just select this and now you will call one method called, I will say static method, which is get runtime. Fine. And now you can simply call one method called execute. Now you can pass any command that you want to execute. Fine. So here I'm going to execute the same command and now the moment you see this or uh, the moment you call this method called execute, it is throwing one checked exception. If you put mouse over it shows IO exception. You can either use throws or you can use try catch. Let me use try catch. So in case it is not able to find some process, it will throw some exception and let me simply write something went wrong. Okay, then I will print the message e dot get message. Now the command which I need to execute is the same command which we have seen just now. Now we don't have any chrome driver dot exe in the background, right? So let me use chrome dot exe. So I will just paste the same command here. Control V. And how do I find? So you can see these Chrome sessions are running, right? Or Chrome process. I will right click, click on property. And you can say Chrome and it's a exe. So it's instead of Chrome driver.exe, I will say Chrome.exe and I will execute. Fine, just notice here, right now the multiple processes are running, right? The moment I execute this, let's see. And you can see it is closing and yes, you can see all the services or all the processes are closed now. And yes, it will release the memory that, that it is occupied. Still for me, CPU usage is very high, not because of this, because of the other things which I'm using right now for recording this session and Eclipse which is running. So basically you can use this for not only for test automation, Whenever you find any process which is taking a lot of space, a lot of CPU usage, you can terminate either from command prompt or using this command. Okay. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If yes, then please share with your friends, subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.